Dear students, uh, so far you already come across with the several branches of chemistry, that is physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, and one more branch that is analytical chemistry. So today's uh, discussion comes under analytical chemistry, that is module five, instrumental methods of analysis. Let us see what is analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry is the branch of chemistry which deals with the methods of determining the chemical composition of samples of matter. Then what are the chemical methods of analysis available to us conventionally? What are the methods of chemical analysis which were available to us? One is qualitative method, another one is quantitative method. So this qualitative method is the uh, method of identification of particular atomic, molecular species or functional groups present in the given sample which is under analysis. Second one is quantitative method of analysis. So here this deals with the um, estimation of the amount or measurement of the amount of particular substance or substances present in the given amount of sample which is taken under analysis. So the first one method which tells about what it is and the second method tells about how much it is, how much is present in it. So uh, let us look into the further aspects of this. Here it involves uh, the classical methods that is separation of analytes by precipitation, extraction or distillation which may be qualitative or quantitative and volumetric analysis. And second one is instrumental methods of analysis. Let us see what is this instrumental methods of analysis. Before taking up this instrumental methods of analysis, let us see why actually we go for instrumental methods of analysis. See the application of instrumentation in chemical analysis or investigation is wide range in applications in various fields of uh, uh, pure and applied chemistry or science. So this includes analysis of geochemical composition, new chemical substances, pollutants, engine oils, body fluids in human and animal uh, studies as well as in uh, diagnostic studies that is uh, for diagnos diagnosis of the diseases and in food processing industries, pharmaceutical industries, water quality analysis, etc. It, it, it is there in almost all fields. So all these fields, they do require these instrumental methods of analysis because it has its profound influence in the estimation or chemical analysis because it is having profound impact in getting accurate, precise results of analysis parameters compared to the conventional methods what we so far follow. The information we obtained based on the report which is obtained from the instrumental methods of analysis is quite useful in solving real-time problems of various fields what I already mentioned. So why? Because it is due to their accuracy, ease of uh, analysis of the sample, even if the sample is present under analysis is, even if the sample is uh, present in smaller quantities, smaller concentration. So it gives reliable results. Hence, we go for instrumental methods of analysis. Let us see, what is this instrumental methods of analysis? So this instrumental methods of analysis uses a simple or advanced instrument to measure the physical quantities of the analyte by relating the concentration with light absorption, fluorescence, conductivity, or potential. So what are the instrumental methods of analysis which is available to us? It can be classified into 
two types electrical methods and optical methods the mainly classification electrical method and optical methods so what is this uh, electrical method let us see it involves the measurement of the current voltage or resistance in relation to the concentration of a certain species which is to be determined in the given solution so that comes under electrical method of analysis example is potentiometric conductometric methods etc these are all coming under electrical methods of analysis and second one is optical methods of analysis what is this optical methods this optical methods is basically based on how the sample acts towards electromagnetic radiation whenever this electromagnetic radiation falls on the sample which is containing certain species which is under investigation or analysis so examples are colorimetry atomic absorption spectroscopy flame photometry like this we can give several examples so what are the advantages of this instrumental methods of analysis so the this method is much faster than the chemical methods so far whatever the chemical methods you are familiar by uh, volumetric method there uh, you need to have a little uh, more time you need to spend more time for the analysis of a particular component but here in this instrumental methods of analysis so the whatever the analyte which is uh, to be estimated or determined that can be done at the faster rate it quickly gives the result so this analysis can be conducted in a very short span of time it requires small quantities of the analyte so if the analyte present in the smaller quantity so even that also can be determined but whereas in case of uh, the conventional classical methods if the amount of the analyte is uh, is less in concentration then it is very difficult to find out because and this gives accurate results precise results though it is having this uh, advantages it is also associated with some disadvantages what are those so these instruments are used in these instrumental methods of analysis they are expensive it means it is not cheaper when we compare to the conventional methods of analysis for example in your titration you have taken burette pipette uh, conical flask etc it's are all very very less uh, expensive uh, apparatus you are employing but here the instruments employed are costly in nature and the concentration range is limited it means you cannot take too high concentration so at too high concentration it won't give accurate result it need to be in the working range of concentration and here this uh, specialized training is essential uh, for the operation of the instrument as such uh, any person cannot uh, just observe and go do the experiment it requires specialized tra training because uh, that person has to keep the instruments which is uh, having sensitivity by calibrating periodically so that it gives the accurate results so this is about the introduction of uh, the instrumental methods of analysis why actually we take up thank you